Amalia and today I am only going to be drinking water. Let's see how this goes. I know it might not seem like the most normal choice, but today for breakfast I'm having my bowl of borscht and my cup of water, which is going to make me freezing, which is why I always drink tea. So now I have to pick my tea. I have, I've got cinnamon, I've got cranberry splash, which to be completely honest was disgusting last time I tried it, so I don't think I'm gonna try it again. And then we've got sleepy time vanilla, but it's not sleepy time, so I don't think I should do that one. Then we've got oolong tea, which is really good. My friend got it for my birthday once, so maybe I should try that. And the last option we've got is peppermint but it's closed, so I'm gonna go with an already open one. Long. Okay, I have to say, like, rate my water. It's not bad. I still, like, I don't understand, like, the enjoyment of something that doesn't have a flavor, but I guess I can live with it for the day. Okay, so I had a cup of cold water as well as my bowl of borscht, and I am reminded why I am correct that water is not for me. My hands are turning purple, they are cold. I don't know if you can see like all the lines popping up. They're freezing. I am so uncomfortable now. I have to like sit with like, I have to like get a blanket and like a sweater. I'm so cold from drinking that. I don't know how people like just drink water all day. It's freezing. It's a funny story. When I was making my tea, I burned my hand. Can't really see it, but I feel it. And it really, really hurts because the hot water splashed on me. And it's summer and I really don't need hot water right now. This is why I don't drink tea. Just so everyone knows. It is 73 degrees and it's going to be 80 degrees later today hot tea is totally not an option i have to learn how to make ice tea. i actually i start a new job today so we will see how that goes um it's my first day like out of the house since quarantine really um but it's gonna be a water day even though it's gonna be a bit of a different day so i really would have liked my tea okay so now i'm about to um start walking to my job i'm gonna put in my mask in a minute but I figured I'd get a little hydration in because the masks um, happen to be very hot um, and you can't really take it down. So, so I couldn't even finish the tea because I was so hot. It's so hot. I need to learn how to make iced tea because I can't, I can't handle this. So I just got to work um, and I really was so thirsty, oh my gosh. And then I start drinking from my bottle and I'm like, wait, why isn't this tea? And then I remembered, I was so bummed, it's just so plain. You guys don't realize what I'm giving up exactly, because you see, this is what I drink on a regular basis. This water bottle, that's very, the fridge is about to slam. Hang on. This water bottle that I leave by my bed every night, just in case I get thirsty. And so I put it in the fridge every morning to cool off. And then I drink from this water bottle all day. This is double the size. And I, so I end up going through like, three of these plus a whole bunch of these and today i can't drink any of this you see i don't understand how amalia does it so i just finished work um and i'm like coming out of the house now I honestly think like the water in the metal bottle while i would like a flavor like in a sense it's a little more refreshing than tea it's a little more refreshing than tea it's a little more refreshing than tea like I guess that's something you learn like it just like very quick pick me up I don't know why tea feels different in that regard I mean it also is great um, so I'm about to make my second cup of tea for the day which I really 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 do not want to drink because it's so hot outside I still need to figure out how to make iced tea you know maybe I'll try to make iced tea now but it's probably gonna end up being disgusting but we'll try it let's see what so happens I'm finally home and I figured everyone would also be curious like how much water I'm drinking because compared to Chava's water habits, I'm probably not there. And I, so I end up going through like three of these plus a whole bunch of these. But this is like probably my second filling of the bottle and I'm like half done with it. And then I also had that, like that, the cup I was drinking from this morning probably holds like two cups of water and I finished that. Um, so I think I've like had quite a bit, like I imagine this holds like, I don't know, like two cups. Um, and then 
another two cups. So that's four cups plus two upstairs. That is six cups of water. Let me tell you, that is a victory. It's also boiling out though. Oh my gosh. So I have no idea what I'm doing, but I put, I put cold water in with my tea bag because that was just, I guess, what you do. But I don't have any ice cubes, so I can't put ice cubes in. And it's probably going to be disgusting. It doesn't smell like anything at all. But that's tea, I guess. So now it's dinner time um, and I'm eating my dinner very ravenously. Um, I'm really hungry and I'm also really thirsty. I actually noticed once I got back, like the sun really tired me out. I have a headache. And even it's shocking because I was drinking all day, but it was so hot out. Um, and definitely I need some more fluids in me. Okay, so I'm going to try my iced tea now. But there's no ice in it. And it smells gross. Let's try it. Ew, it just tastes like cold water that's off flavor. And there's just like something wrong with it. It's not good. I don't really want to drink any more of it. Okay, so now I'm about to wind down for the night. Honestly, as I'll get into, I actually feel a little dehydrated. Um, I feel like I almost, I was saying earlier, I feel more refreshed quicker with water. But I almost feel like more dehydrated at the end of the day maybe it was also a very hot day when i was doing this and i have not because of corona been out in so long um so like i'm not used to really having that much like physical exercise in if i'm not like deliberately trying to be exercising um and it was also particularly hot but um i definitely feel like very i have a major headache um, and just like every part of my body hurts. I don't know how much of it has to do with my switch to water. Um, I mean, like, like the rest of the world swears by drinking water um, as like your dehydration free method. But something about tea, I think I would feel better um, if tea had been my go-to all day. Um, and I hate to say it, but I think, I don't know if I can really finish, end off my day. I'll finish that cup of water, but I'll probably have a little bit of seltzer, which I don't know. I think that is cheating because it's bubbled water. Um, and that wasn't part of it. And anyway, I drink seltzer to begin with, but, um, I just really don't think I can end off my day without something a little like flavorful in my mouth. Um, and that's it. Those are my final thoughts. So I'm going to sign up. So I finished my day drinking tea yesterday and I forgot to sign off. So I'm going to sign off today, just telling you my thoughts about yesterday. So it was pretty awful. I don't understand how anyone could go in the summer drinking just tea. It's just, it's just not possible. I've, I, I really, really thought I think I dehydrated very badly yesterday, so I'm not ever doing that again. Maybe it would have been better if I had uh, learned how to make iced tea, but I don't know how. So I should probably get on that, but I, I prefer water anyway. And I think the record will show that Amalia has concluded that water is really, really good too. Just saying. I might be twisting her words a little bit, but I don't think so much. I hope you guys enjoyed that video of me and Amalia practicing how to be open-minded. And I think it was very mind-opening, but I still conclude that I think that water is the way to go. And I think Amalia has concluded that tea is the way to go. So, you know, at least we tried, right? <laughs>